Kim Jong-un, North Korea's leader, faces a new issue. The world first noticed Hyun Song-wool as Kim Jong-un's sweetheart. Before then, she was only a famous Moran Bong band leader and singer, but her role may be far larger. New information suggests her association with Kim Jong-un affected her future, maybe even North Korea's. What if Hai Yan is Kim's blood relative as well as her friend? Discover North Korea's deadliest secret. To the top. Hyun Song-wool is one of the most famous North Korean pop stars outside of Korea. Famous North Koreans include Hyun. This acclaimed vocalist leads the all-female Morenbong band. The world wants more than her singing. North Korean leader Kim Jong-un is her boyfriend. Reports claim she did something recently. Let's expand on this woman first. Thus, Hyun became popular for songs that resonated in North Korea. A Girl in the Saddle of Esteed was popular because it showcased young people's energy and patriotism. Early life and work. North Korea is famed for secrecy, hence Hyun Song-wool's childhood is unknown. Hyun's path to popularity as one of North Korea's most famous singers began early. Hyun was born in the 1970s or 1980s. He likely learned how to work in North Korea's arts and propaganda businesses through state-funded youth programs. This cultural system guides talented kids. Hyun played her role successfully. She rose to fame in North Korean music in the early 2000s. She became famous for her vocals, stage presence, and national singles. The patriotic hymn A Girl in the Saddle of a Steed, one of her early hits, showed young people glad of North Korea's might. Like many of Hyun's early hits, this song encouraged patriotism and loyalty to leaders. The song's themes about North Korea's force and spirit resonated with nationalists and group warriors. Hyun became a TV star in North Korea's state-run entertainment industry after this song's success. After then, Footsteps and We Are Troops of the Party solidified her status as a good citizen and a Workers' Party of Korea supporter. North Koreans view musicians as more than entertainment. Their performances reinforce state values, making them like teachers. This society valued loyalty, sacrifice, and pride, which Hyun's joyful and impassioned songs reinforced. She wanted to show she was young, active, and committed to her principles throughout her early work, not only music. North Korean media is tightly controlled, and Hyun's performances are meticulously designed to demonstrate patriotism, hard labor, and resilience. This is notably evident in A Girl in the Saddle of a Steed, where the image of a young woman riding a horse symbolized North Korean health and readiness. Hyun's career was filled with nationalistic songs like these that united people under the Workers' Party. Hyun's early work reveals how North Korea uses pop culture to communicate. Her and other musicians support a government-created ideal must keep presenting its tale and gain devotion. In North Korea, these performances are routine. They remind citizens of the regime's priorities. Hyun's fame increased her influence. These North Korean leaders saw her achievement and talent. In 2012, Kim Jong-un bravely founded the Moranbong Band, young women vocalists who rapidly became a symbol of the leader's 21st century vision for North Korea. This all-female band directed by Hyun Song-wol was good and unique because they combined traditional preaching with Western flair. Hyun was purportedly chosen by Kim Jong-un to lead this group. He made it fun and effective propaganda. The Morimbong concerts were unique for North Korean music. Morimbong had electronic guitars, synthesizers, and Western song covers. This contrasted with traditional propaganda bands. Also unusual was their style. Members donned military-style uniforms with medals and sometimes flashier attire like Western pop singers. These style changes and more dynamic dancing attracted younger viewers while remaining committed to North Korean nationalism and socialism. Hyun led the Moranbong band, which became a clear evidence of Kim Jong-un's leadership. He said they wanted a strong and prosperous North Korea that was authentically North Korean. However, Hyun was more than a brilliant singer. First signs of Kim Jong-un connection. Hyun Song-wool is a popular singer in North Korea and a close friend and cultural figure to Kim Jong-un. Long-standing allegations about her friendship with Kim have fueled global media speculation. North Korean artists generally work for the government arts and culture are closely tied. But Hyun's fame and power always made it look like the North Korean leadership trusted and respected him more. Her public actions are tightly monitored, indicating that her image is meticulously managed to serve as a national symbol and an unspoken reflection of Kim Jong-un's aspirations for the country. This is when things become interesting. People were particularly interested in Hyun's friendship with Kim in 2013, when horrifying accounts of her firing squad death emerged worldwide. When she appeared publicly, the rumors faded. The reports about her apparent disappearance made her even more mysterious and emphasized how tough it is to be part of the North Korean elite, where power and prominence come with the risk of abrupt favors. 
Hyun has gained famous in North Korean culture programs, responsible for maintaining entertainment's ideology. She manages more than the Morenbong Band. She reportedly participates in arts programs like public performances and state-sponsored entertainment. She's a powerful performer and a trusted link between the government and the entertainment sector as seen by her power in these groups. Kim Jong-un's lover's photo was made to look robust and modern, unlike other North Korean ladies. Her image of military style order and dynamic leadership distinguishes her as a modern North Korean woman who upholds the country's beliefs. She dresses formally and stays cool at public gatherings, making her famous for upholding North Korean beliefs. Hyun is unique in North Korea's political hierarchy because she is a performer and culture leader. She embodies art and patriotism in North Korean propaganda, or state image above personal identity. Her fame and control make her one of the most intriguing figures in the country's elite, where art, politics, and loyalty are closely interwoven. Does she have more to her than we thought? Her current incident may shock North Korea and the world. Before we can understand everything, we must discuss her narrative. Seems diplomatic. North Korean celebrity Hyun Song-wool is also an unofficial minister, attending several significant foreign events for the nation. She traveled to South Korea with a North Korean team for Pyeongchang Winter Olympics preliminary discussions in 2018 one of her most crucial diplomatic appearances. This visit was crucial because it began warming relations between North and South Korea. It was an uncommon and well-planned Northern goodwill. The North Korean authorities invited Hyun to these meetings to highlight her diplomatic and singing career. Her efforts helped North Korea appear warmer and friendlier, which aligns with its declared desire for peace and cultural exchange. She organized a North Korean art ensemble performance in South Korea during her tour. The show featured national dances and songs that gently expressed Korean unity ideas. These events were enjoyable and demonstrated North Korea's culture pride and desire to get along with the South. She represents North Korea's soft power using her culture to affect how the world sees her. She is respected as a disciplined, poised, and accomplished leader in North Korea's entertainment business, unlike military or political envoys. North Korea made a clever diplomatic move by sending artist Hyun to South Korea, breaking with formality. This let the hermit kingdom appear open while maintaining control over the conversation's tone and topic. But why her? North Korean vocalist Hyun Song will leads Morenbong. North Korean society and Kim Jong-un, the country's secretive leader, have long relied on her. Hyun and Kim are great friends, but when did they start? Connecting and separating. After Kim returned from studying in Switzerland, he and Yan Song Wool reportedly started dating. Kim Jong-il, Kim's father, didn't want him to have any links that could hinder his leadership training. South Korean intelligence reports indicate Kim Jong-il urged his son to break up with Hyun, despite their closeness. After that, Hyun sang in North Korea's Pachambo Electronic Ensemble. Hyun became renowned then. Her patriotic songs increased her popularity and reflected the nation's pride and patriotism. Kim Jong-un liked her more after seeing her perform Excellent Horse Like Lady and seeing her talent and dedication. After Kim Jong-un took power in 2011, Hyun's fame returned, sparking rumors that they had reunited. People who saw her indicated she was involved in national culture projects, especially since she led the Morenbong Band. Some regarded Hyun's role as Kim Jong-un's endorsement. It showed how essential she was to his government and how well she could represent his goal of modernizing North Korea while preserving its principles. Hyun's independence and high status in a country where artists and celebrities are keenly followed suggest a tight personal and political relationship with the leader. As part of the Marambong Band, Kim Jong-un's cultural weapon Hyun can directly assist him with his plans, demonstrating his trust and respect for her. In 2013, Hyun Song-wool was reportedly executed by a firing squad, one of her most exciting occurrences. According to South Korean and Japanese news outlets, Hyun and other members of her singing group were accused of filming immoral movies and should have been publicly punished. Some theorists believe the charges were based on government power struggles rather than the purported crime. Ri Solju is Kim Jong-un's wife, relates to Hyun's narrative. Ri Solju performed in North Korean music before marrying Kim. Some say she and the other woman were rivals because she sang in a state music group. Ri Solju's performance history and career path resemble Hyun's, therefore theories abound. Ri was reportedly threatened by Hyun's connection with Kim. Some believed Ri Solju conspired to punish Hyun because she was jealous of her tight relationship with her husband. This supposed love triangle affected Hyun's North Korean life. Kim Jong-il hid most of his connections. However, Kim Jong-un has invited Ri Sol-ju to state ceremonies, earning her unprecedented fame in North Korea. This increased visibility but didn't stop stories. Instead, some regarded Ri Sol-ju's appearances as Kim cementing her role and claiming Hyun's life, which throws Hyun's role and status into question. 
Hyun Song Wool's life and work demonstrate how North Korea's politics, culture, and relationships interact. Hyun Song Wool, one of Kim Jong Un's favorite performers, promotes the regime's ideas and progress. She is crucial to Kim's North Korean plans due to her performances, diplomacy, and Moranbong band leadership. Her importance wasn't realized until recently. The well kept secret. Kim Jong Un's mistress, did you hear? Recently leaked reports suggest she quietly gave birth to his child, putting her in a new spotlight. The reports suggest that Hyun's 2013 bankruptcy was a cover up to preserve Kim Jong Un's reputation and family. Why? Hyun's possible motherhood has major implications for North Korea's power structure and the Kim family's future. Hyun returned to the stage in 2012 after years away from the spotlight, and some analysts believe she was pregnant with Kim's child. People imagined they had given birth to a North Korean prince after their reunion. If so, the succession line may be harder to follow. This is especially true since Kim Jong-un is married to Rai Sol-ju and has several children with her. South Korean and other experts say this scenario is likely and might disrupt the regime's rigid rule. Hyun's unexpected disappearance, reported firing, and reappearance may indicate that the supreme leader took drastic measures to maintain stability. Keep leadership out of problems. But guess what? The line of throne has been screwed up before. He wasn't Kim Jong-il's oldest son. He was chosen over his brothers because he was more suitable and trained to lead when his father's health declined. This succession change sparked controversy in North Korea's elite. If Kim Jong-un and Hyun have a kid, the Kim family may be under pressure to choose the most powerful offspring. Rai Sol-ju, Kim's first lady, has heirs. If she has a kid with Hyun, North Korea's succession plan may be tricky. As the mother of Kim Jong-un's known children, Rai Sol-ju is crucial to the family. After their 2012 marriage became public, Rai Sol-ju began appearing more with her husband. Being with her husband's daughter, Kim Ju Ae has made her more famous. Her public role has evolved over time, causing family conflict rumors and safety concerns. Hyun's children and the supreme leaders, if she had a child with him, may compete. Analysts believe Kim may be using Ri Sol Ju's high profile role to bolster her position after allegations of a relationship with Hyun. Hyun is a major figure in North Korea's culture as the Moranbong band leader and later as a state propaganda and agitation department head. She is heavily involved in the systems that maintain Kim's image and the regime's narratives. Because she runs a strong department, she may have more power and access than other senior officials. This employment lets her manipulate lies that could disguise or reveal her Kim family links. Hyun's influence over North Korea's state-run media and cultural events may have been set up by Kim Jong-un to limit her power and impact. Kim Jong-un routinely uses public events, both his own and those of close friends and family, to control public perception and knowledge. Hyun has joined Kim in public celebrations and official inspections, demonstrating their closeness and shared leadership vision. It stood out when Hyun cried at a huge cultural event and seemed compassionate. If we were not in the hermit kingdom, where leaders cannot do these things in public, this would be normal. Some observers believe her reaction shows her love for Kim, as these occasions have deep implications in North Korea. The way they gazed at each other and the emotions she shed may indicate a stronger link with him. However, this relationship may cause more harm than expected. Kim is usually with many people, yet few have his heart. This shows that Hyun has a heart, which caused the women around him cry. Kim and Hyun having a child would affect North Korea greatly. After Kim Jong-un's illness allegations, the world is paying more attention to the Kim family's succession. North Korea didn't always specify who would reign if the current leader died. An undetected successor might draw international attention and upend the power structure. If Hyun's child is confirmed, other nations may negotiate with North Korea considering several heirs. Rai Zulju and Hyun could possibly have heirs. North Korea's elite may differ, with strong families and groups supporting either child based on their personal or political ideals. Hyun's prominence in emotive public appearances generate a sense of mystery and probable political instability, not to mention internal discord. As North Korea's leadership evolves, Hyun's friendship with Kim Jong-un and her impact on him will become obvious. Everyone is focused. What do you think of this dramatic change? Post your thoughts below.